Dear Diary, Inside Jabba Jabba was a complete nightmare. Bro, what's going on with your body? There's no organs, no blood or arteries, no rhyme or reason to this pizza texture maze cave. Why do you have these air jellyfish just floating around inside of you? What's going on with these bubbles? Is that supposed to be indigestion? And fuck these electricity snakes. You can't kill them, you just can't. It took me several tries to make any progress in this place. It was bananas. And not good bananas, like a banana split. But bad bananas, like that time people thought Gwen Stefani was a holla back girl. Fuck this place, and especially fuck the naked princess, who, let's just be honest, looks exactly like the aliens from Independence Day. She blatantly lied to my face by claiming that she never sent a letter in a bottle asking for help, and that her father could suck it. And then, in an attempt to create an expression of teenage rebellion, she threw up both middle fingers and dove into a flesh puddle. I guess I had to go after her, so I followed and fell into the well basement. Diary, in case you were curious about what it would look like if an entire well was filled with ragu, take a good long look, cause this is what it looks like. The princess took my fall as a sign that I was really worried about her, and gave me the gift of carrying her ass around. We couldn't just walk out of there though. Oh no! She had lost the third spiritual stone and we had to find it before we left. Oh goody. I hoped there would be an opportunity to steal the stone and murder the princess, leaving her body to decompose in stomach acid. That's why at any chance I was given to put her in danger, I did. I threw her at everything, sometimes just for fun. I eventually found the bejeweled boomerang and I was able to finally get down to business. It was especially helpful when I had to fight these gross tentacle monsters. Diary, Jabo Jabo had really messed up insides. We probably should have sent one of those fish people to come down here with a large dose of penicillin. That poor guy had mono or something. Killing all the tentacles revealed a path that led us ugh, back down to the ragu chamber. And that's when I noticed. How did these spiders get in here? Do they just crawl into Jabo Jabo's mouth? And we're just like, hey, we live in a whale now. He asked one of the spiders about it years later, and he says, ugh, look, man. I was just going through some things in 1998. I had a friend who said I could crash in his web. His web just so happened to be inside a well. And I really need you to get the judgment out of your eye. It was a long time ago. I'm a different spider now. In the next room, the stun we were looking for appeared. And Princess Roto jumped onto the platform and swiped it. But I knew it was too good to be true. But before I could stop her, her bossy pants got sucked into a ceiling. And a giant octopus appeared and said, Fuck you. You're going nowhere. And I thought, Diary, instead of showing you a really long, boring fight where I died a ton of times and lost my temper, I would just share with you five really cool octopus facts. Number one, octopuses are really smart. They can open jars. Number two, all octopuses are venomous, but only the small blue ringed octopus can hurt humans. Number three, they have three hearts. Number four, to escape a predator, they can lose an arm and regrow it later. Number five, the common octopus will collect shells and other objects and build fortresses or gardens. In the next area, I had to fight the electric fungus that was making Jabu Jabu sick. I guess this was supposed to be the dungeon boss, but this guy was easy compared to the octopus I just fought. After a couple of hits with my boomerang, zip zap zoodle, he was dead and turned into jelly on the spot, and Princess Big Head and I were able to leave. Outside, the princess definitely tried to seduce me, by telling me her mother said to only give the stone to whoever she intended to marry. Listen, fish lady, we don't have time for that. The world is trying to fucking end. Just give me the damn stone so I can do the thing. She handed it over, and I finally had all three spiritual stones in my possession. The only thing left to do now was make my way back to Hyrule Castle to see Princess Zelda, possibly kick Ganon in the balls when he wasn't looking, then go back to my treehouse and live happily ever after. Until next time, diary, your friend, Brittany Saturn. I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade.